everyone. Uh, welcome to this video. And in this video, we are going to uh, see how this code will be executed. And this is a very famous uh, distributed interview question, which is asked from the beginner. And, and this ensures your concept clarity. Now, how we are going to approach this problem? And, and I'm just for your uh, knowledge, I have mentioned the source of this uh, question. So this is a very good book. You can refer to it. Uh, coming to the problem. So I have used the uh, blocking assignment and non-blocking assignment in the same thing and, and in a sequential manner because uh, there is a begin and end statement of initial block and this ensures that these statements are executed sequentially like one by one, one by one. Okay, so in this begin and end, these will be executed sequentially. Now let us understand this table. What is this? So this is a stratified event queue and we should solve these type of questions if they are in the same time slot. So how, which, which statement will be executed? So there is actually standard things which mentions about these type of uh, solutions and the solutions is a standard and we should follow only this type. Okay, so first active events come in which assigning statements is evaluated, blocking is evaluated and display is evaluated and I have written only the RHS part of the non-blocking assignment is evaluated. Now, in active part, there is uh, some type of delay, hashtag zero, that is our second priority. In the third one, MBA update. So, here only the RHS part of non blocking assignment is there, but here only, we, we used to update the LHS also, okay, of the non blocking assignment. Now, here the monitor, so monitor statement and the strobe statement is executed. Now, the, the main point I have written is non blocking assignment is always executed in two steps. In first step, only the RHS of the MBA is evaluated, and in the second, LHS is updated. This will be more clear when we solve this question. So, I'm talking about this statement. First, A is scheduled to get, okay, value of one, but this will be updated in the second step. Now, let's, let's solve this question. Uh, what is happening is first a first let's start from this and, and we will go like this sequential manner okay in sequential manner so when we are uh, writing this so a is getting a value of zero and this is a blocking assignment and in in, in active uh, reason assign uh, this 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 blocking statement is there first so we have written it now when we are going to this a is scheduled to get a value of b so we write like this a is scheduled to get a value of this but a is not updated yet because a will be updated in third clocks third third uh, step which is our nb update now next coming to this point okay we have reached here so a b is getting the value of a so b is getting the value of a that means whatever the value of a is having we will get it so b is b, b, b will be getting the value of a is equal to zero and not this value because this is not yet assigned to yet okay this this statement will be uh, updated to a in the third third uh, step now b is also getting this now again i have written uh, b is scheduled to get the value of a so b is scheduled to get the value of a but here a value is zero and not one so this is the talk of active clock now in inactive there is no any statement but before going further there is a display also so uh, coming to the next step we'll be executing this is display so when you put this is this uh a statement for analysis you will find that the display will print outputs like this uh, a is equal to zero because a value is zero b value is zero and this all is happening for the t is equal to zero now after display is executed our active is completed and we will there is no inactive so we'll, we will come to the third step which is nb update and in nb update we will update the values so a was scheduled to get a value of one so a will get a value of one similarly b is scheduled to get the value of this so b will get a value of this but there is no change in the value of b so similarly monitor will uh, uh, will be the next sequential uh, thing monitor will be the next sequential thing and it will get a value a will get a value of one and b will be getting a value of zero and t will be zero okay at times equals to zero but here hashtag one come so hashtag one means after t is equals to one okay so t is equals to one means in the next time slot now will this statement execute why because monitor and stroke they are uh, the statements which are reusable every successive time slots so if i'm changing my time slots and there is a change in the input monitor will display it now what is the change change is here change is here and what is the change b is getting a value of one so here b is changing its value to one and a remains same so monitor will execute and this will be my output so you can run in vivado and you can check it thank you very much